Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for October 18th. Now, what am I looking for during this next session to make some money? In the U Euro USD pair, this pair has a trend line, actually has two trend lines. Let me zoom in a little bit. I uh, know the, the spikes here are above our trend line, but they did both uh, close there. So we are looking to for this to hold. Uh, if it breaks above that, we will look to buy and go long. If it breaks below this lower one, we will look to go short. Let me just show you where this trend line comes from. We have one, two, three, several points actually in this area uh, that it is tracking to the upside. I do believe if we get a break of that, we could see it come on down. Now, you do have another one here that we need to be aware of. We're pretty much right at that one if you notice right there. Uh, we have several areas here as well as here and then we have one there. So it's very, very important to uh, keep an eye on that uh, as we go into this next session. If we get a break down from here, most likely we will come down to this point and hit it. If we get a move to the upside, if it reverses and moves higher, look for it to take out uh, today's high or this previous session's high and then the day before that, just to kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Now it does depend on where it where you in, enter, but uh, you're looking at tw at least 20 pips to 30 pips. Uh, if it meanders around here and then breaks to the upside, we could get uh, a little bit more, you know, tw 25 to 35 pips in that direction. Uh, to the downside, if we get a break, it coming down 40 pips uh, would definitely be a possibility. So keep an eye on these points. Uh, currently we have a uh, trend line right now on the bottom is at uh, 13061 to the upside 13108. So uh, that is what I'm looking for during this next session as far as the market action. Now uh, let's switch over to the US Japanese yen pair. Let's go ahead and, and move over to the day time frame and zoom in a little bit. Actually, uh, before we get into the charts too much, let's go ahead and take a look at our news announcements for this next session. We have the German producer's price for September being released at 2 a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that is that it's going to hold at 1.6%. Then at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, we have the consumer price index for Canada being released uh, for September. They're showing a hold, or I'm sorry, a slight increase from 1.2% up to 1.3% for their consumer price index, which would be uh, relatively okay news for the Canadian dollar. Now, let's go back to the charts and see what we have uh, during this next session. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row, six sessions in a row that the U.S. Japanese yen pair has been up. Uh, there is a possibility of a reversal, especially considering the long candle we had today. However, we are looking for it to potentially go as high as 79.66, possibly as low as 78.63. Look for some resistance around 79.50 and look for some support around 78.95. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair we already talked about a little bit, look for it to go up to 131.85 possibly down to 129.75. Look for some resistance around 131.40 and look for some support around 130.25. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair uh, we have, let me move this on over. There we go. This pair surged to the downside, very strong. Looks like it's heading to the upside, at least right now. Could reverse and move lower. Look for it to potentially go as high as 162.23, possibly as low as 159.30. Look for some resistance to the upside around 161.75, and look for some support around 159.95. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed higher, creating an inside bar, could potentially break out in either direction. Overall, moving to the downside, look for it to potentially go as high up to 0 0.9296, possibly as low as 0 0.9173. Look for some resistance around 0 0.9275 and look for some support around 0 0.9215. Well, that pretty much wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.